Hello viewers, welcome back again to today's class. It is your teacher, Roger Michira, ready to take you through history and the topic of discussion today. We are going to look at what are some of the duties of the presiding officers. Now, who can get to remind us what we did learn in the, in the previous class? Very good. We did look at the duties of returning officers. And we did say that the returning officers are based in the constituency level and they get to, re to, to relay a pre presidential results from the constituency to the national tallying center. Now class, today we get to look at the presiding officers. What are some of the duties of presiding officers? Welcome all and let us learn. The station you're watching is Elimu TV. Now class, what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we are able to state the functions or duties of presiding officers. Now, one, they are appointed from each polling station to see that each and every voter only votes once. Now, these are the officials of IBC that are in polling centers, not polling, uh, yes, polling, polling centers, the polling stations, right? Talk of the word polling stations. No, they are, they, they are based in polling stations. No, and not, not like the returning officers. Returning officers are in the a constituency level or the county level. Now, the presiding officers, they are in the polling stations. They get to oversee. They get to see that. They get to make sure that every voter only votes once. Good? Can okay, you look at that? That's the IBC official. Now, the one with specs, right? He is, he is, he is, he is uh, just making a mark. Right? It is always made a mark at the pink finger, right? Now that one, it ensures that whenever you come back, if they see that again mark, right, then you can't be allowed to vote. Now the presiding officers, they make sure that each and every voter votes once. They also help, the, they, they get to help those voters who are unable to vote, right, or rather to mark the ballot, papers. Right? For example, we have got people, the, 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 old, the, old, the old grandfathers, the old grandmothers, the age, right? We have got those people who have, who have a challenge in writing. These are the people who are going to help the voter to mark the, the ballot papers. But again, remember, these are not people who are going um, to, to choose for you a candidate. They are not going to influence your voting, right? They only get to mark for you, right? If you say it is candidate A, they get to get you candidate A. They can't start convincing you, start influencing you, right, to vote, to, to vote for candidate B. So the only work is to make sure that the ballot, uh, you, you, you help, uh, they help those people who are unable, unable to vote, the ballot, uh, to mark the ballot. You can see that, we have got an old, an old mama there, and the, and the IBC, officials, the presiding officers are helping her to mark the ballot. And also class, they get to seal uh, ballot uh, boxes after voting in compl in completed in the presence of part agents. Remember, these are people who get to seal, who get to seal the ba ballot uh, boxes, right? After voting has been done, after voting has been done, they get to seal. Good look at that. They are sealing. Right? These are the people who get to see the ballot boxes after voting has been done. Right? They make sure that they have got the, that IBC seal, the security seal. Right? They get to seal the, 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 the ballot box uh, for, uh, to avoid, um, to avoid um, uh, the, the ballot uh, papers being get lost. I think that you can look, see that. Get to see that. Those ballot uh, boxes that have been sealed. Right? We have the seal. Let us get to see the ballot uh, box seal. You can see it has got the IBC security seal, right? Look at those uh, ballot uh, boxes with ballot papers that have been sealed, okay, right? Now, these are the people who get to seal. After voting has been done, after counting has been done, verification has, has been done, results have been relayed to the constituency level, they get to seal. And you have seen how ballot boxes are being sealed. Now, they also get to count ballot papers in the presence of party agents. Now, they cannot start counting of votes if we don't have the party agents. They must have to be there, right? Now, they get, they get, they, they get, they get, they get, um, they get, they get to start counting, right? They get to start counting, they get to start tallying in the presence of party agents. The party agents are just to ensure that their votes have been counted, 
right? And there's nobody who has been rigged out. Good, you can see that. They are now powering the, the ballot uh, 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 papers, right? Now they are sorting them. They have sorted. You see that? They have sorted. They now telling uh, begins. Telling begins. Good. That's the work of the presiding officers. They get to count ballot papers in the presence of uh, party agents in polling stations. Good. Now class, where do uh, presiding officers get to present, right? And for reference, get to refer to the whole world, history and government. And as always, this is a limited TV, your favorite learning channel. And I've, as, I was, as, as, as I was, I've been saying, Wherever you want more lessons, right, get in touch with us via YouTube channel, Elim TV. Thank you so much, and let us keep Elim TV for more lessons.